Yep. Yeah. Back out. Still the summer. It's still the summer, isn't it? Oh, it's summer. Oh, we've come out into the the trees and the woods. Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> and the dog bracken. That's everybody, Mr. Ferguson, not Mrs. Ferguson. That's it. You can't remember the name of Ferguson. It's a generic term. <laughs> uh, and anyway, so we're walking through the forest of terror, which has been decimated. The forest's gone. There used to be a lot of trees here, but that was a long time ago. Then we're going to go through the track and try and find a hill. Cush it low. That's what we're aiming for anyway. Let's see how we get on. It's red hot, absolutely draining. It's like being in Death Valley, isn't it? It is, I. So the thing is, if it's, it's not here, we're it's still really we're complaining. <laughs> yeah, it's cold, we're complaining. It's too hot, we're complaining. It's too hot, we're complaining. One day, One we'll get it. Perfect. One day, we'll get it right. Uh, there was a little breeze before, but it's just dropped. It's died to death. Anyway, dog's knackered. I'm just thinking of the dog. <laughs> oh. You <laughs> didn't make the fly, did you? Hey. Push on. Lovely day though, I can't get vexed at this. I think he's had about three litres there, hasn't he? I need water for me dry dehydrate normally, I haven't dehydrated them. I need water for a cup of tea when I get there. I need water for him to drink. Uh, I think that's good because I've got beer and some wine. Oh, I'm back come on. Oh, well, this way, come on, this way. <laughs> he does, I don't blame him. Can you get up? Come on. Oh, yeah, Like a mountain goat. Like a mountain goat. Oh, it's so hot. There's no air. There's a little breeze coming through now. We're getting near where we're going. We've come all the way through the forest. Two and a half miles back that way. Nice walk, like. There's a bit steep bit there, just done the steep bit. And a bit of respite here, and then we're back. That's Cushat Law in front of us. This heat is draining. Dog's got mad flies, I keep getting the dog. He's, he's demented with them, poor thing. Carl and Mark are the things under the sun. <laughs> Bring me out. I was sat in the house and now I'm out here and eating alive. Yeah, but that's my destination there. Phew! Boiling hot. Oh, look at these fly things. Look at them. What dogs? I don't want any of them on us. They bite you, them. Oh. So we're just stopping to tie Mark's lace. What is having a lie to Any excuse for a sedoon like. <laughs> He's a hot dog. So we've come off the main road, the forestry road, and then you just duck up here, there's a path. And then you just go up the path. There's fires over there. I right think the distance there. It's gonna be the Otterburn Rangers still on fire. Not a good sight, is it? They reckon it was caused by a live fire. The soldiers. Ah, it's got a little bit of a zoom on. flies on your arm. Biting you there, uh, I can feel it. Oh, it's dug right in. I can feel it. I better get it off. Well, if they've been bitten yeah. by that bloody thing, this is very steep. It's just not even a path, really. It's coming up here. <laughs> Bless him. Bless him. Dog's sliding down the hill, it's not very steep. He's really a doing his dog sliding down the hill. Good off, lad. Linda, this is for you now. You didn't watch the video, but anyway, you might watch this. I'm not trying to show you this bit. But it's your fault you made the dog come here the other day, man. You want to feel sorry for him. The poor dog kind of cope this heat. <laughs> Yeah, 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 lad. He's had enough. I didn't blame him. 
Nice, no, still enjoying yourself. See what I got up here anyway. Top of here, once we get up, we'll be alright. It's windy now, though, isn't it? Right, so I like the wind. Keep the flies off. Keep the flies away. So, we're over the fence. We're at the top. Crush it low. There's the can. Oh, right, the wind, the wind. It's wind is out. We're wishing for wind before. You gotta be careful what you wish for. Stuff like this. Nice and soft, but uh, I can imagine it being quite boggy in the wet. There's a little cairn there, we'll see what that's like inside. Maybe he's being at the shelter in there. There's more, uh, checking his uh, statistics. Altitude. Altitude. Right, Bosch, watch is seeing 620, and his phone is seeing 6. 616. 616. And the, the map says 615. So I think you need to get a new watch. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> so this one's just a cheap one. My phone's £900 though. £900? I mean, should be read. That's achieved it there. If Mr. Stoker's watching this, we were camped about there. Scotsman's Cairn. Hedge. Got a sausage dog here. Yeah? Oh, Hedge hopes over there. Dog, sorry. Ah, the dog's had enough, like. He's had enough, him. He's not got anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he's quite happy to be lying, do I am. I'm happy to be sat in here, out of the wind. Check the wind. That's it, he's down. <laughs> That's me. I'm going to look for a flat gun. Yeah, I'll get up and have a hunt for a flat bit. Didn't know where to go, I just kind of make me mind up. Anywhere flat will do me, like. But we've got this little can here. Again, yeah, we're in the. Uh, we've got little. We've got little shelves for uh, beers. I have just made a dry stone seat. A shelf there for my beer. Mark's made a dry stone seat there. This <laughs> little flat one there. Huh? There'll be a shelf somewhere for his beer. Sorted, man. Sorted. These are handy little cans, these. <laughs> We're just waiting for snakes to come out of the holes. Nice snakes are cool. Hey, I'll tell you what, watch it all week. You have seen that thing on the documentary, the, the wildlife show, where there's um, lizards on the beach. Aye. And they're hot shooting. They've got to get this, the semi hatches out. Oh, and the they've snakes got, are chasing them. The, the snakes are chasing them. Oh, I've seen oh, that. Hey. That was a planet Earth, wasn't it? Is Aye. it lizards? It was. Aye, it was I. Right, whoo, tents are up. That wind's picked up like. But it's uh, not bad, I suppose. See, it's keeping the midges and the flies away, but when you sit in the porch of the tent, the midges and flies are swarming around your face. Taking big lumps out of it, like, biting. Horse flies. He's up there. Just making a cup of tea, folks. Kettle's on. Got my cup of tea there. Start off with a cup of coffee, actually. Ah, it's hot. Ah, burnt my mouth. God. Hey, right. nice day though. Nice views up here. East coast over there. Uh, not bad. No bad. Push it low. Take another one of my TV it's off. This is one big hill, that's like 2,000 odd feet. Mark was saying there's only five hills in the TV, it's over 2,000 feet. What? Came, came up three of them now. Over there, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, too zoomed. Is a man called David Miles. Neither of us knew we were coming out here at the night, so he's over there and we're over here. So he's not that much. Too far to walk across and say how do. Oh, it's miles away. David miles away. Anyway, we're just sat here, chilling out. The wind is blowing up. Baxter's in there. I'm having to put my hand over the microphone because of the wind. Yeah, I think we'll chop, chop it there. So there's Mr. Um, 
Just uh Ah. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Hey, right. Tommy Johnson. Tommy Banana Johnson. That's oh, what I call him. He he's lost Mr. Baxter. <laughs> Baxter Ferguson's gone. He's just here. You know, you know, he's there. Like he's, he's like there, just behind you. Yeah, just there. Anyway, so what we've got oh, is. Subtle, can he? Nah. I think he's a bit fed up with both of us. Like, we've got a craft beer here. And it's called Moving On Up. And if you see the artwork on the cans, look at these guys with moobs. I can identify with them, like. I know, I know it's the deal now. But that's a Northern Monk and Wyland Brewery collaboration. And they did last year, they did I Like to Moob It, Moob It. And I was after that, but I couldn't get it. But I heard good things about it. It was like really thick, murky and juicy and tropical fruit. That's not, it's not nice uh, fruit. Mango, For a beer, murky. stone fruit, absolute pure beauty like, and this is lovely. It is. Is it going to tend again? 10%. Come on, just The ABV on that is 10%. But it's nice, man. I'm, I'm savouring it. Just had a shout out of Tom Robinson. Swing with energy and life. Uh, our outdoor correspondent Andy Wardle, who manages to be, uh, I don't know, on the edge of a beach or up a mountain or somewhere, every time the Saturday night comes by, he's listening on the DAB radio somewhere, says, Hi Tom, back out. Me, Mark and Baxter, Ferguson the dog, up in the Cheviots, wild camping, having steak and beer and watching the sun sunset. The uh, tunes are keeping us sane. I love it. We love it too, Andy. Thanks. It's lovely to hear from you every week. Um, which Mark was over the moon about because he mentioned Mr. Baxter, Baxter Ferguson. No idea what that means. But yeah. I was heading to the end of the night now. Sun's gone down over there. Hey, Mark's just walking the doggy. Taking him for a nice bit running around. But yeah, we've had a good night. Good up here, you know, the Cheviots, there's nobody around. We've seen one person today. And he was walking, um, he was walking up to Windy Guile, apparently camping up there. But that's miles away from here, miles away. But yeah, this is a good camp. It's getting a bit chilly when the sun goes down, it gets a bit chilly still, even though it's summer, July. Still gets that little chill on the blooming the back of it. Oh well, so we're getting tired out. Oh, can't stop yawning. Quarter to ten. Craig Charles is back on Radio Two at ten o'clock, and we'll so put him on. Finish off this beer. Probably get in. And that's it. Moving on up. Moving on up. <laughs> Morning, campers. Heidi, hi. No. 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 This is the sunrise. It's almost six o'clock. I can't sleep because of the wind. Oh, it never stopped blowing all night. Flipping gale. Not to worry. It's the rain kept off, folks. Looking at the, head, the hills, looking nice, nice and clear today. No nice day. It'll be uh, it'll be red hot again and down the bottom, out of the breeze. Over there's the North Sea. Over there. I bet it's 
sunrise was great and I missed it. I just got up too late. I think it was 15 minutes too late to see that. Not really. Well, I've had a cup of coffee. Let's see what time Mark gets up. He's got the dog with him so it should probably wake him up early. Soon. Slow pack and then off. That's about it really. It's probably a short video this. Not really much filming done. It's too windy, you know. Ah. There's loads of bugs up here though. I think one went up your nose in the middle of the night. That was uh that was an experience. Walk was up. Anyway. And the wind farm is quite a long way off. They're awful things, but you know, I suppose if they weren't doing any good. Hundreds of them, thousands of them. Yep, ready for the off. That's where I was, just there, a bit of flat grass, no fires. Just getting ready to go now. Dog's done off, dog's a bit of Scotland. <laughs> Wind is picking up. Still never left. The wind just all night. It's marks here and there. Kept the flies off with. Anyway, this is where we had a little bit con flab. A couple of nice little natural seats. Head over that fence in a way. Done just heading down now. Look at the view, the view in front there. It's nice. We're going on that path. Another fence to cross. I'm gonna carry the dog out of the fence, gonna lift him over. Big dog like. <laughs> but that's where we've come down from. It's just downhill all the way now, like. Should be back in an hour. Three and a half mile. I think the fires are out over there. So that's good news. Alright, push on, this is a really steep bit. Cracker Jack. So we've just stopped. For Baxter to get a refreshed. Aye. We're getting eaten alive by flies, attacked by thousands of flies. Like, look at them all, man. Millions of them. Bad fly the other day, and I've seen Army if that was a bit deeper. I'd be in there, like. Yeah. You can see there where it comes from. Really Why are you putting a nice one, what happened? Put his finger Yeah, because it was locked. And there's Baxter having his last drink and a swim. He's up to the caps. <laughs> there's Mark there. Off a good little Freezing. three and a half mile bloody hike back. <laughs> In the heat, it's boiling. The heat is on. The flies oh, kill him and the heat. Oh, oh. Come on. No, Alex, crack the beer because some are coming. You kind of come backwards. You kind of get him backwards. Look at this dog stuck. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What's he like? <laughs> it's not graceful, like, is he? No. <laughs> Bless him. Yeah. He's got the sneezes now. So we're just here, this park here. This is a naked park here. Normally when I come here, I walk all the way back along the road, another three mile. This is getting keeping the flies off us. It's me device. This is whacking the flies away. Top tip. Right, so that's another camp done. All right, just a boot. Cheviots, Cushet Law. We decided we were going to do more of the Yeah, definitely. It's, it's quieter. It's just so it's quiet. It's easier to get to. It's, it's a remote, and the beer's cheaper as well. Yeah. Right, well, the ones that let you in. <laughs> Pub in there. Uh, Alwinton, not let dogs in. Can't go in the beer garden either. It's 
a bit mad over here to the lake. Anyway, that's it. We'll end it there till the next one. Yeah, it's just